is unprecedented chemtrail spraying. We've got U-turns going in every direction. They've been spraying us all day, X's and O's and symbols and stuff in the sky. Look at this shit, okay? So many U-turns, you can't even count them. I just, I just need to understand how more people aren't horrified. I mean, this is fucking horrific. Every other word coming out of my mouth is the F word. I'm just ashamed and scared of what the hell is going on with our planet. Oh. Just when you think the sky can't get any worse, it does. Look at the devastation of these fucking chemtrails. Oh, God help me. I, mean, I don't even know what to say anymore about this. The whole sky is polluted. And look, we have another asshole. They just keep coming. Thank you for calling Lady Tom. Hi, may I please speak to a meteorologist or the news director? Okay. Hi, is, may I please speak to a meteorologist? Uh, you are. How can I help you? Okay, my name is Amanda Bays. I live in Virginia Beach. and You guys have it listed as mostly cloudy here. We, Our skies are completely clear. The only clouds that are in the sky are aircraft emissions. I've been... You have it as mostly cloudy. I'm confused. I'm sorry. Uh, every, all the weather stations have it listed as mostly cloudy. Not, not lady. We have mostly sunny. We've been calling for that for days. Okay, well, it's not mostly sunny. So that's an inaccurate forecast. Is there someone I can speak to about what's going on in the sky? Because I've been documenting a completely clear sky, and then the airplanes are spraying out something from the back of them, whether it be emissions or an intentional spraying operation. I don't know. It's but like a contrail. It's not a contrail. Ma Ma'am, you cannot definitively state that it's a contrail without testing it. That's, that's irresponsible, and it's not factual. You haven't tested the emissions, and you don't even know what planes I'm talking about. Okay. Well, you know, I'm not sure if I can help you. Well, I mean, I, I need to speak to someone that can help me. I need to make a report about this. Um, I'm not sure where to tell you to go. You're talking to a meteorologist. Okay, so you're, you're, you're actually, you're a meteorologist, and you're going to tell me that you don't see the aircraft, sp uh, planes, spraying emissions across the sky that are turning into clouds. It's called a contrail. Oh, really? It's called a contrail? A contrail that doesn't dissipate? That, that literally crosses across the sky? Where were the contrails 10 years ago? How come the contrails dissipated before? It just depends on how much um, relative humidity I would say there is. It, but today, it'll take a little bit longer for the contrail to dissipate. And why is, and why is that? an airplane contrail. Yeah, why is that? They're not spraying anything. Why does it? Why did, how would you know if they're not spraying anything or not? Do you, do you know every government uh, thing? Do you know what geoengineering is? Weather modification? I mean, these things are, are easy to find on the Internet. I've been documenting this all morning long, the clear blue sky, and I go onto the Internet to see what the weather forecast is. Mostly cloudy. You're saying it's mostly sunny. Well, what's the other part of it? What's the part that's not mostly sunny? You're going to say that those are contrail emissions? Well, then why don't you state that? Why don't you state in your forecast heavy contrail uh, activity. You know why you don't? Because it's not true. You know, and you can be held, you can be held accountable. I can actually hold Wavy TV 10 accountable right now for lying because okay. you're, you're stating that, that a con, that you're stating that what you see in the sky, every single line in the sky from every plane, from anyone that's calling you to complain about it, it's water vapor. That is not factual. Well, actually, I didn't say every single cloud. And you're the only call that we got about that, so... I'm not the only call that you've gotten about this. You actually are for today, but we appreciate your call. You don't appreciate my call, and you're not helping me at all, and, and you're not... to get ready for a midday show, so if you have any other concerns, you may want to call... Do you have, like, the front desk number? Oh, my God. Can you please... Are you, are you about to go... Are you about to go on the news right now and, and do your weather forecast? We have a midday show. Can you please, for the love of God, can you please mention the contrail pollution that's covering the sky right now and blocking out the sun? Um, 
I'm can you I can't promise that. Why, I mean, why can't you? You're the meteorologist. If you're going to be honest about it, why don't you look up in the sky and look at the planes that are spraying stuff out of the back of them, whether it be a contrail or a chemtrail, I don't know, because I haven't tested it, and neither of you. So, you know, just go, you should mention I, that. Of the contrails, and it's mentioned there. You want to go on Facebook and check that out. It's Wavy TV 10. Oh. Okay, well, my name is Madison Star Moon, and you can go ahead and check me out. I just was on C-SPAN testifying before the EPA about this. So you guys are lying about it. You're not being factual. Why don't you actually take some planes up there and test the emissions so you can prove to us that it's a contrail? That would be scientific, wouldn't it? I have another, on the phone, another meteorologist on the phone here if you want to ask him. I would love to. I would love to. Hey, this is Jerry Wither. How are you doing? Hi, how are you, sir? I'm pretty good. Uh, so, uh, you talking about contrails today? Is that yeah, right? I'm not talking about contrails, sir. I'm extremely uh, uh, angry because as I'm going to work today, there's a clear blue sky. I get to work, and all of a sudden, we're being bombarded by airplane pollution going in every direction, and I'm watching the planes do it, and I'm documenting it all. And I, I look on the forecast for Channel 13, AccuWeather, Wavy TV 10. You're all saying, you say it's partly mostly sunny. They say it's mostly cloudy. I call it AccuWeather and they're saying, yeah, it's mostly cloudy. There are no clouds in the sky. The only clouds are airplane pollution. Now, if you guys are going to try to pull that little contrail water vapor theory, you haven't tested the emissions. That's unscientific. And you being a meteorologist, you should um, respect your job and position of authority. You are a weather authority. We are counting on you to give us the real weather. If you were to be honest, I know you're in the media and you can't tell the truth, but I'm not going to let you get away with it. I'm going to I'm going to keep calling you guys when it's like this and you give fake forecast. Mostly cloudy here in Virginia Beach according to AccuWeather. As you can see, yeah, we are mostly cloudy. Cloudy with chemtrails. Hey, AccuWeather, you're fucking lying shills. These are not fucking clouds. These are chemtrails sprayed out by airplanes, you fucking liars. I'm so sick of this shit. Who the fuck thinks these are clouds? I mean, I'm sorry to use so much profanity, but at some point, you just get so sick of the lying and the covering up. Look at this bastard. So gross. This is what they're calling mostly cloudy. Mostly chemtrailed. And look, here comes this bitch. Okay. Reason with me, folks. What kind of contrail is this? Look at the emissions that this one plane is leaving. It goes on forever. And then you've got this dickhead. I'm just so sick of it. I can't take any more spraying. intentionally spraying. I, I mean, that's... I wonder what it is. Uh, it's it's chemtrails. Chemtrails. That's what I think it is. And what, what's, what it does? What do it do? I think chemtrails is weather, weather modification. Um, I think it's... I personally think it's a depopulation agenda. You know, turning the earth into one big gas chamber. That's what... I'm sorry, but that's what I actually think. Look at that, look at that freak go. I mean, look how long that trail is behind. Will you help me accept this as a fact of life in the sky? Cause like, I'm scared of the plane spraying. <laughs> I, I think I think it's pollution. I think it's intentional chemical spraying. It might be, who knows? I know, but I'm saying, look at this. I've never seen like this before. Is there something that you can tell me to make me feel better about it? No, I'm afraid not. Why? I, I don't have no answer for you. Yeah. No I mean, this is insane. It looks like, what a freaking nightmare. I've never seen it like this before. Yeah. If you ask me what I think of the sky, I was just thinking it was just a beautiful day. Yeah. Nothing like this. Yep. What do you think it is? Like I said, no idea. Yeah. None whatsoever. Look, and there's another one coming up from the bottom there. Yeah. So you got the bottom one, you got these going across, and this isn't dissipating. This is like making X's and stuff. Look, we got another one coming up from the rear. And what 
What are they doing? Why are they flying? What are they spraying? All right. But normally on the news they'll tell you about this. It's contrails. You didn't test it. That's not scientific in any way. Contrails would dissipate. This is a fucking nightmare. No, that's a commercial. Thing. Okay. Yeah. I can't even that's see the if I'm. Yeah, that's the second money. big one. So I, I know they're wondering what the heck is this. Yeah. Wow. What more can you say, right? I love the look on your face right now. The look of <laughs> horror. Yeah, I, I mean, that's the. I never seen it before. Yep. I'm so that, glad. Now, what's the plane like? The one side and something? I don't know. Look, there's bad. another one coming up from the rear. They just keep coming. Yeah, just, I mean, there's a lot of them up there. Yeah, there's a lot of them up there. And they're big, thick. Look, one right above our head right now. See him? Yeah. It's endless. These are endless planes. One, two, three. I don't know how many are here. These already left this fucking debacle. Oh, my God. This is some truly freaked out, scary shit. Lovely. Hi, may I please speak to your manager, the news director, or somebody? Okay, hold on a moment. Thank you for calling. Working news now, this is Doug. Hi, Doug. Are you the news director? Yes, I am. Okay, this is Amanda Bays. I don't know if you remember speaking to me before about the airplane pollution. Anyways, you guys have it listed in Virginia Beach as mostly cloudy. There is not a cloud in the sky. The only cloud that is in the sky is emissions from aircraft that are not dissipating. I've documented it. We were completely clear, blue skies, and the only, you know, clouds are chemtrails. So, ma'am, ma I've got a meeting that's about to start in two minutes, and I can tell this is a conversation I'm gonna wanna spend some time on. Uh -huh. Can I call you back? Sure, you want my phone number? I, I don't, but you can get it to me. You don't want my phone number? No, I don't have your phone number. I said, do you want my phone number? Yes, I do want your okay, phone Okay, my phone number is uh, 757. And your name again? Amanda Bays. Yep. Okay. Let me get back in touch with Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Okay, you got it. Bye-bye. Lord Jesus, please help us stop this insanity. Guys, I'm totally bugging out. I know you already realize this because I've made like 6,000 videos today, but this fucking plane did a U-turn. This one is just going like all the way around. Look at this shit. Oh, Lord Jesus. I am so scared right now. And look at this bitch go. I mean, come on guys. I can't make any more videos. You know, I can just keep making videos like this, but nothing's happening. I keep calling the government. I keep calling everybody that will listen. I tell anybody that will listen. Come on. Even a blind man can see there this is not natural. Okay, what in the hell is this plane doing? He is straight up making an L. Do you mean to tell me that this plane forgot what direction he's going and all of a sudden had to go the wrong way? This is some freaked out chemtrail nightmare shit. You guys, I'm going crazy over here. I cannot handle this type of freaking shit. Look at these two planes. Guys, come on, please help. This is fucking insanity. We cannot live like this. They're killing us.
They are fucking killing us. This is a depopulation agenda, folks. If we don't do something about this, this is how we're gonna die. I'm not trying to scare you, but this is some scary, freaked out shit. Oh, God. God help us, and there goes Mr. L. These freaks are trying to X out humanity. I mean, the symbol X, look at this. Goes all the way across the sky. Now, I mean, this is after a long day of spraying. You can see it's all hazed up. It's all from airplanes. Not a cloud in the sky. Only chemtrails. I want off this planet. I want off this freaked out, fucked up planet. So today I've been telling anyone that will listen about chemtrails. I've been pulling over on the side of the road, stopping to tell people. I'm actually at my wits end. I can't take, it's just too much. It's too fucking obvious. You know, there's no explanation for this that's acceptable. These are not contrails. I mean, any idiot with half a brain can look at this and say, no, these aren't contrails. This is an intentional and deliberate spraying operation. There he goes. Fire sky. So heartbreaking. You guys have got to do something. We've all got to do something and fast. We're going to fucking die. This guy is doing a fucking U-turn. Look, people. Oh, God. All right, so I guess now y'all all know what it sounds like when I bug out. Look, this guy's doing the same thing. Holy fucking hell. Okay, guys, I apologize for all of my profanity, but I am so overwrought with the situation. I want you to check out this chemtrail. Watch. It goes around in a loop, and then around and all the way back down. Wow. Oh, my God. You know, I'm a Christian and everything, and I wonder why God allows this. Look at this guy. He's straight up in a U-turn. How many U-turns? How many planes have done U-turns in this fucking mess? You've got this one. That is a blatant fucking U-turn. Oh, we got another dickhead spraying right above us. I've never seen some shit like this. Now this one is the one that, oh, check them out. Okay, ready? So it starts here. Look at the bottom of this loop. It goes whoop and all the way up through here, goes back around in a circle and back down. What fucking flight path is that? The flight path from hell. All right, guys, I think I've shown you enough. I mean, I'm just driving myself insane making these videos. The more videos I take, the more, oh, there's a bee. There's a bee. Oh, yes, I love you. Oh, thank God for something beautiful in the middle of this horrific nightmare. I actually witnessed a beautiful bee. I love you. Oh, He's my friend. He hates the chemtrails, too. Baby! You're my baby! You want to sting me? Yeah.
these freaks are trying to X out humanity. I mean, the symbol X, look at this, goes all the way across the sky. Now, I mean, this is after a long day of spraying. You can see it's all hazed up, it's all from airplanes, not a cloud in the sky, only chemtrails. Hi, yes, may I please speak to the news director or a meteorologist? Um, hold on one second. Okay. Her call is being answered. Motherfuckers! Oh. Hi, yes, you just connected me to a machine. Is there a live human there at the news station I can speak with? Um, uh, I've connected you to a EP. I guess he was at his office. Um, yeah, just connect me to anyone there that I can speak to about this. Okay, well, what time are their meetings over? Because, you know, I've been, I've been contacting the news stations, like, all morning long, and it just seems to be one excuse after the other. There has to be someone working there. We'll contact us again at 4 o'clock. That's when everybody gets up. Okay, I'll call you at 4. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. This is fucking crazy. Hi, Rich Ryan Manal, the news director. Bullshit! News channel 3. Yes, may I please speak to someone that's actually in the office right now? Well, we're on air right now, so the meteorologist is not available, and the news director, you would probably have to leave a message. Yeah, I was, I, I called you guys today. I was told to call back at 4 o'clock. I mean, this is ridiculous that I'm unable to get a hold of any live wait human. Minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't know who you called to talk to, so I don't know what the situation is. Yeah. You can tell me what you called to talk to. Okay. I, I, call, I called you guys several times today about airplane pollution, and I said that, you know, I needed to speak with a meteorologist or the news director. I was, you know, I was sent to an answering machine. I called back just like how, how I have now and was um, told that everybody was in a meeting and that they would be out at 4 o'clock and for me to call after 4. What were you calling about again? Airplane. airplane what? Air, the heinous airplane pollution that has been corroding the sky all day long. Airplanes doing circles have no flight path at all, intentionally spraying stuff into the atmosphere. I've documented it all day long. It has been the most heinous airplane pollution I've witnessed. What area are you in? I'm in Virginia Beach, but today was exceptionally horrific. Okay, what is your name? Amanda Bays, B-A-I-S-E. You know, it's still it's still going on right now, man. I mean, you can just look out your window and see what's going on. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to email the meteorologist and see if he can tell me what it is. He's going to tell me it's con he's going to tell me it's contrails. Well, all I can do is ask him what it is, and he can give me an explanation, and I can call you back. Sure. What's your number? Uh, seven five seven. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you're calling to tell me that it's contrails, don't bother. I'll do my best to find out what it is. Thank you, ma'am. Wow. Anyways, I, I just... Know, you know, I mean, the average person is going along now, not even looking at this. Yep. I just wanted you to tell me something to make me feel better. I, feel all right. it's nothing I, can tell you. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. None whatsoever. Well, will you look into it for me, like, privately for yourself? And then if you find out anything, let me know. I asked my son to check into it. He's, he's into stuff like this. He is? Okay, cool. Look at this shit. Sorry about my language, but That's wow. Okay. Wow. Okay, good. At least I have it all documented. They can't try to deny. Look, hold on a second. I'm going to take this. Hi, uh, yes. Can you please explain to me why you have it listed in your weather as Virginia Beach being cloudy when we are completely overcast? Um, I'm not exactly sure. Give me one second. Okay. This is actually the second time that you guys have listed completely overcast skies as cloudy. I mean, not it's probably been more times than that, but just the second time that I've noticed it. Right. 
Virginia Beach. And that's actually that's actually not even an honest forecast because we're not cloudy, we're polluted. It's from airplane pollution. I watch the airplanes spray out the pollution and they create artificial cloud cover. That's exactly what's going on in the sky right now and it's completely overcast with pollution. So for you to, for a meteorologist or for AccuWeather to state that it is cloudy, that's a lie. Okay, I will have our forecasters look into it for you. Yeah, I mean, that's what you guys said last time and you're still doing it. You're still pr projecting false forecast. Okay, I will have them look into it. Thank you for letting us know. Yep. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, it's Madison Star Moon, and I'm going to go ahead and call AccuWeather again because they are lying about the weather forecast. They are saying that we are cloudy here in Virginia Beach. We are completely overcast and have been for days. Thank you for calling AccuWeather. This is Lisa of Hi, yes. The, the weather in Virginia Beach is completely overcast, and you guys have it listed on your website as cloudy. This is the second day, this is actually the third time I've called you guys, but the second day in a row that you've had the forecast as cloudy when we're completely overcast. You're saying sunny? I'm sorry? I'm sorry, what are you saying the current conditions are there? We are completely overcast and have been for days, but for some reason on your AccuWeather Accu forecast, you have it listed as cloudy. I called you guys yesterday to tell you that you are, uh, you're reporting false weather. Yesterday you said that it was... Pardon? Oh, All right, thank you for holding here. Overcast is the same thing as cloudy. Really? So what is cloudy then? There's actually not a cloud in the sky. It's just a complete cover. So what do you call it when it's cloudy? When yeah, it's, it's cloudy or sunny. It's overcast is cloudy. Okay, so those so are the those are the, and it would be sunny. So you're telling me that those are the only two conditions that you'll will report it as either sunny or cloudy? Partly cloudy, partly sunny, there's a bunch of different conditions. Okay, well, we are completely overcast, so that's not cloudy. Wouldn't it be, uh, isn't overcast? Yeah, I verified with a meteorologist. Completely overcast is cloudy. That website's correct there. Okay, do you guys ever report on um, the airplane pollution causing changes to the weather? No, we just report the weather. Okay, well, I just want to let Have you know. Have a good day. Yeah, I just want to let you know that that's not a correct forecast. Thank you, ma'am. Look at this death tower. What a freaking monstrosity. Okay guys, this is Madison Star Moon walking up on this freaking death trap from hell. Sign. Look at these freaking cables. Wow. Huh. This is just amazing that these things are everywhere, but look at the cables. Wow. Do you see the sky? You see this? What do you think it is? Thank you.